on a crisp autumn day. Don't you want to be out in the woods? It's so beautiful. There's, there's leaves, there's wood, there's uh, little animal droppings. But the thing is this, you gotta, you gotta know how to survive out here in the woods. I don't have a tent, I have no tent. And I'm gonna s survive and here's how I do it. Here's something you don't wanna do, trip, hit your head against some sort of rock that's laying around, split your head open and have nobody with you. Get yourself a walking stick. And if you wear glasses, bring them. You're gonna to wanna to bring a notebook to jot down your own personal thoughts. You're out there on your own, my friend. Unless the, you know, there's, sometimes there's Larry over there. Hey! How you doing, bud? Yeah, he's always been an idiot. You know, one thing you want to do when you're walking into the bowels of the woods or the forest is to keep your eyes peeled for true north. The best way to tell it where, where true north is, and you'll need to know this, is it's up. It's not sideways, it's up. And if you had a compass, it would be really helpful. I don't, because I, th I rely on the sun and the stars and the moon. Another thing that's very important to survival if you're stuck in the woods and you can't get out is you have to have food if you didn't bring food with you. There's so many things that you can eat that, um, that maybe aren't poisonous, like leaves. There's leaves and stuff that have nutrition. Bark, bark's delicious. This is called tree bark or, or in Latin, Elbarcus deponimus. You've got to be able to sift around through stuff. Run your hands through leaves and maybe you'll come up with some, uh, you don't know, some kinds of nuts, some kinds of fruit. You can eat grubs. The grubs are these little worms that crawl around, delicious. You see these leaves here, see them? These are called Uh, tree leaves. You can use them as pillows. You take about 7,000 of them and put them on top of each other and you can put your head on it for about 15 minutes. This is called a top leaf pick. This is the very topmost leaf of this tree. It's delicious. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Ooh, okay. Look what I found. This is called the sickly pear mushroom. A lot of people will buy mushrooms in the store. Chances are like, like maybe 80-20, they're not gonna kill you. But out here in the woods, it's like 50-50. You die from mushrooms by strangulation. So here we are in a, what it looks like a spot made by God, if there is a God, for you to make bed for the night. And what you want to do is, you want to take, find these branches, branches, look at these. These are perfect logs for building a lean-to. And then I'm going to go down into where the actual mattress part of this is. I'm going to lie down like that and then use this as your blanket. Here's your pillow. Wait a minute. What's that thing that keeps hitting me in the head? Yeah, there we go. See? And it's, it's, al it's almost perfect. There's no place like the woods. Where else are you gonna lie down on a, something that's as comfortable as, as anything you can ever imagine? So when you wake up tomorrow morning, you'll be so rested that you'll have a whole new outlook on everything. So enjoy the outdoors because that's the most important thing in the world. And if you see this guy Larry that's in the woods walking around, tell him not to sneak up on me because I'm going to be sleeping. I'm going to cover up now and say good night and bon appetit. <laughs>